Leaving the Ozarks, I felt like a new man. Even started to look like one. But my transformation had only just begun. My identity, like the world around me, was undergoing a radical evolution. For the first time, I wasn't afraid of the road ahead. Found an address in Donald Powell's wallet. He was supposed to come here to collect his reward when he killed me. Happened to be the same location that Jack Hastings, the Speaker of the House, had flown to the night of the fall. I sensed the answers to everything were in there. And I'd come too far, been through too much, to stop now. Some very wealthy, powerful people had gathered the night of the fall. The guest list felt completely random. Or was there a connection I was missing? I'd changed so much over the last year. But one constant remained. My curiosity. That need to know led me into Jack Hastings' house. And now, into the belly of the beast. All my old questions about the speaker took on a new light. Was Hastings part of some international cabal? And what could they possibly want here in the middle of nowhere? As if that wasn't strange enough, I heard something even more incredible. A symphony. Or rather, a CD recording of one. Somehow, modern technology still existed here, as if this place had been spared from the effects of the EMP. Before the Ozarks, I'd have turned back. Common sense would have trumped my curiosity. After all, if this group was behind the fall, they were a force to be reckoned with. I was just one man, and who'd even know I was gone? Hell, some people already thought I was dead. But I didn't turn back, because the biggest change in me was a newfound confidence, a belief I could handle any situation that arose. What I found inside, though, was much more than I expected, more than just the source of the music. It was a glimpse of the future, or maybe just a shadow of the past.